today's modeling technique is going to be on Model Mania 2004. We're going to continue our series on the Model Mania parts. We're getting about halfway through here, and they get uh, there's some pretty interesting modeling techniques. Today's part, as you can see here on the screen for Phase 1, has some strange contours to it, draft angles, fillets, things like that. As always, you can download and t um, print out the parts, give them a try for yourself, and see what your times can be. Again, we're supposed to be um, done in approximately uh, less than 20 minutes. And usually got to cut off around 5 minutes of that to be in the running for top 3 spots. So let's take a look at this part. Let's start a sketch here on plane 1, and I'm going to draw the, the, the base of it. Alright, I'm going to come in here and throw in my arc, and I'm going to grow throw in the the 160. After looking at this I realized it, it's it's a half of a part is what it is. Whoops, what happened? There we go. Um, it's it's a half. Alright, I'll come in or not a half, I'm sorry, it's a spherical shape. Let's come in here and drop this guy on here and this guy on here. Put these guys together or actually we'll throw a center line down here and make these symmetric just so he fits around the origin and we're easy to go here and I'll just snap this guy on the origin coincident alright we get our black piece here this guy is just here to make his base and we need it from here to here to be 50 high according to the drawing and this will be our top which will be a 170 alright and I only need half of this. I don't know why I drew all of it, so I'll just trim out this half and fix up, close it up. And where is our unconstrained point? There he is, horizontal. Boom. And our center is off center, so we'll put him on there. All right, there we go. There's our first main sketch, most important so far. So I'll bring this here and I'll put it around 180 to the front. Okay. Now what we're going to do is we're going to be cutting out the top points of it so for here we're we're good. Come in and I will start a new sketch on the same plane. I will show the previous just so I can use this stuff. And there he is there. And we'll from the same center the last one, come out, drag that guy around, I'll steal this and this, convert them, trim them up, and come in here, and we'll give it its dimension. Uh, dimension, dimension, where to go? Use my hotkey, and we'll go 160. Alright, and I'll spin that guy around to 180. Now I know it's gonna, it looks like hey it's going to overlap in the same thing, and yes it is. Reverse, and I will unmerge it. So we have two bodies in there. All right, like I said, we're going to cut it. Hide this guy, and from the up here, I'm going to cut out the shape that we need it at. So I'll, let's use our dynamic mirroring to save time. That's what we're here for: is saving time. Insert tools, sketch tools, and dynamic mirror, which means when I draw on one side, automatically will happen on the other side. Here and our three-point arc. Bring it in here, down to here. And give it a size. Alright, and put it here and here together. Coincident. I'm going to take off this side so that I can just mirror it all and get one constant piece and then I'll throw on the dimensions since everything's already symmetric 125 wide uh, we've got an angle here eh, I'll use the center line bring this down and give it a 15 degrees and this guy is a 75 radius and we have a total length of, I'll hold on my uh, shift key of 100. All right, gives us our shape. We also have the 
top shape that's going to be need to be based on this in there and we'll just use the offset I can offset 25 millimeters for this guy this guy and this guy inset and trim it up all right now it looks like hey I'm gonna get a, a mess if I cut this or I'm gonna get uh, an error that's true but I can use when I not extrude when I cut I can use my contour select and I can say just cut this guy cut it all the way through and only cut the outside the, the widest one and also flip the side to cut so we can see our arrow pops out here it's gonna cut the outside like a cut, cookie cutter actually in this cut I'm gonna do all bodies because it won't matter alright we can see our line in there between the two bodies and now I can show that sketch and I don't have to show it but I like to show it and just cut use my contour select I'll go here just cut the top body you can see this one here and flip side to cut through all so we've got a lot of options but we're getting a, a lot to do with it here and you can see we get our main shape here okay at this point I can hide this sketch and glue them together which means just combine the two bodies and select the two combine enter and now I have one body everything's good to go I can do my draft angles four degrees all the way around we'll say neutral based on the bottom flip it up and faces are these faces here Boom. We take a look at it in the front we can see that we've got our draft angles and then this one's a little more difficult because we have a party line instead of a straight straight uh, draft from a face draft up and parting lines is here here in here and we can see we get our four degrees there too so now that we've got that in there we can come in and we can throw in our uh, what size do we have 10 on the outside on these corners so we'll throw in our 10 millimeter oops wrong edge there we go and then enter again to get back into it and we got six for everywhere else give it an okay and then a quick shell of four millimeters whoops did I rot it? no here and here and give it an okay and we get our piece at this point we would hit the end phase one or start phase two button go on out ask for our changes to where we go out and we come back and we get this as we can see here um, they have what it looks like raised the front face up well they've dropped this from what it was 50 here down to 20 with a 20 degree angle and um, then the same draft angles that we've been working with 15 degrees in there as the same as we had on the sides this is our 15 that we had all right so what we'll do is work it this way you know the only way to get this particular model the way we have it without a lot of work was using um, what's the word? a multi bodies as we did so what we can do is we can come back to before we did our combine and got our bodies here because this is the body needs to change drastically so what I'm going to do is I, right from the side plane here I'll start a sketch and take a line from the back here bring it up call it 20 20 millimeters and 20 degrees all right and then I'm just going to use a surface all right not a planar surface an extruded surface through all in both directions just so we don't have to add any more numbers than needed and what we'll do is I'll tell it to I'm gonna cut with surface here I'm gonna cut this this body and I'm gonna get rid of that side alright so we get that angle and then how do we pop this guy up I could do some elaborate 3d sketch but we have this draft angles that are going on here actually are the draft angles in there yet yeah 
No, they're not. But even if they were, this would still work. We'd say uh, we're going to face replace. And we're going to replace, as it says here, target faces for replacement. I'm going to replace this face with this face. And if you haven't used this tool, it's a very cool tool. We can see we hit OK and it brings it up. I don't have to do any extrusion or anything like that. As you know me, I take my surface bodies when done with them and delete them. And then one last step, I got to get rid of what's inside of here. Like again, could do some elaborate cutting and things. But all I got to do is insert a feature split. I'm going to take this, this, and this, and cut the part. And we see we end up with a bunch of bodies. And I can just say consume cut bodies. And I can do less selections. I can just say consume this guy. And we see we end up with most of our shape. Come down or combine. We'll put it back to one body again. And of course we're going to get some failed drafts and probably fillets, but we can see here. Come in and I'll take uh, the second draft. Let's see if we can edit that guy. We can say here and here also. So it'll pop those guys out. Worked well. And then our fillet. Uh, we already have our tens. We'll just come in and we'll pick what's missing. There we go. Beautiful. Take out the missing edges. And we get our shape, our fillet. We'd hit. Oh, well, first we take a look. Make sure all our fillets are on there. Everything's good. Hit end phase two. Walk out. And hopefully you beat everybody else's butt. Give it a try yourself. You get to play with your surfaces, your trimming. Uh, I mean, uh, tr surfaces. What else we got? Up to or replace face. All kinds of cool tools um, to get to this point.